A Big Blue Nation is singing the Kentucky Blues this week after the defending champions failed to make the NCAA tournament this year. But with Rupp Arena hosting the first two rounds and Louisville being the overall number one seed, still a lot of excitement for March Madness this year. ESPN College basketball analyst Jay Billis joins us live with his take on this year's field. Jay, thanks for being with us. Tell us, did the tournament get it right by not inviting Kentucky? Dick, they probably did. Uh, I don't have any quarrel with that. I, I think the committee did an okay job uh, of, of putting the tournament together. Uh, I, I didn't think the committee did a great job of seeding, frankly. I think the seeding was, uh, was messed up from the get-go, and they made way too many mistakes for it to be just sort of bracketing principles. And you know, I had a couple issues with selection. Uh, to take St. Mary's, uh, LaSalle, and Middle Tennessee – while leaving out teams like Virginia and, uh, and Tennessee and even Kentucky, frankly, or Maryland, that had, had all won more games against quality competition than any of the three uh, teams that I mentioned, I thought was, was not the right thing to do. Um, but, but, you know, th those are smaller quibbles. I think the seeding is a, is a bigger deal, frankly. I was going to say the Oregon number 12 seed caused a lot of double takes. I'm sure that caught your eye. It did, and Pittsburgh being uh, uh, in the 8-9 game, uh, when their metrics say that they should be a much higher seed, Wisconsin was a 5, should have been higher. North Carolina should not have been an 8 seed. North Carolina should have been higher. Uh, you, you've got a lot of those things that, that went wrong. And, you know, even something, Dick, is, is, is minute to some people of on the, on the overall seed list, Montana was one ahead of Davidson when Davidson had a, a better record and beat Montana head-to-head. -head. Now, that doesn't make any sense, but it, it, it shows kind of a sloppiness on the part of the committee that, uh, that, that I, I think permeated the entire field. I know sometimes mechanics come into play when they have to slot teams, but uh, generally there were a lot of weird things that happened. There's no question about that. Uh, what were your, some, some of your favorite moments that you took away from the NCAA tournament? Oh, geez, I, I was so lucky to have played for Coach K at Duke, and, and we went to the, the championship game in 1986. We wound up losing to Louisville. And I was also an assistant coach there uh, in, uh, in 1990, 91, 92. We went to the championship game, the NCAA championship game. Each year I was an assistant, and I like to tell Coach K that, there was, that, was, that was not a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we had so many real moments, and most of the real moments had to do with, uh, with my teammates. Because I wasn't, I, I didn't think of myself as a player as much as I thought of myself as a teammate. Uh, I wasn't on a team; I was a member of a team, and and that's why uh, being involved with Dove and Dove Men Plus Care, their Real Moments campaign, is uh, is such an honor for me. Uh, you know, to be involved with with Dwayne Wade and uh, to show myself a, as what's important to me, what matters most to me, and that's being a, a husband and a father. And, you know, you get to see me uh, in a different role as, as a dad, you know, maybe tying a bow tie for my kid before he goes uh, uh, to a dance or teaching my <laughs> daughter how to drive. And I was a horrible bow tie tire. I would be a 16 seed bounced out of a <laughs> bow tying tournament uh, in, in a heartbeat. I, I actually wouldn't make the field if it were a bow tie uh, uh, competition tournament. But, you, you, Dick, you can go to DoveMenCare.com and get involved in our March matchups uh, uh, contest. Uh, so there are real moments for fans, too. We don't want to forget that because uh, this tournament is so important, not just to the players and the coaches, but to the fans that are invested in every inch of this thing. And, and this is, that's why this is the best time of year because uh, there are so many great moments in this tournament. I have one hyphenated word for you, my man, clip on. Thanks for joining us, Jay. Have a great tournament. Hope you have a lot of fun. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember that. that's a good idea for next year. Clip on's the way to go. Yep. And there will be more coming up in just a minute. Stay with us.